What's up guys, today we'll be counting down the top 10 Naruto figures. I'd like to start by saying that this is a list that is made from my point of view and is unbiased based on character. For example, although Madura is amazing, he isn't ranked high on the list because I'm judging these figures based on accessories, articulation, and how well they executed the character. Madara looks like Madara, which is good. And his accessories are pretty good. But this figure is basically a brick. He has no ab articulation due to this hard piece, which, I mean, it makes sense that they put it there, but they could have at least tried to figure out some way to make it somewhat movable. And his legs are sort of hindered by this cape thing. But... It is softer than Sasuke's, but still, it does hinder leg articulation. You can see here, it doesn't let him spread very much. And the forward is good, but the backward is not the best. And you can tell that over time, this figure will definitely deteriorate because the joints won't stay tight forever. And due to the heaviness of his weapons, it'll definitely loosen up the joints. And also, these things are pretty floppy, and they can easily come off. His hair is articulated, but his head still can't move very much. There is a point of articulation right here in the back, but as you can see, it, it doesn't really move, so that's not good. And he can't look up at all due to his long hair. So that's a bummer. Although this figure looks cool, it does not do well statistically. So this is why that he's at the bottom of the list. Gara is definitely not one of the most sought after figures in the line, but although he isn't overly horrible, he isn't good either. For example, look at his faces. They're a little bland, you know? I mean, this one has a crack in it. You could have, I don't know, made him screaming or something. And this one shows like the slightest bit of aggression. It's just not, not too good, but I mean, not that bad either. And his articulation is the standard for Naruto SH figure arts. Like it's not good compared to other figures. His ab crunch is horrible and his legs are a bit hindered by these soft things but you can get some decent poses out of him because it is soft unlike Sasuke's and his arms are fine now to the good stuff I love how they included these easy to put on shaded cross arms they really didn't have to but they did another good thing is that this gourd is pretty light so he can stand up pretty well without with the gourd attached see and one more thing this hand this sand hand thing is amazing this is one of the few things that made me actually want to get him when he was first released if you look closely there's different types of sand shading in there and this is also articulated and just looks it looks like sand and it's amazing so, and they definitely didn't need to give us this but they did and it's wonderful. Although this figure isn't a brick like Madara, he still doesn't have good articulation. And his accessories are decent as well, but just not as good looking as some of the other characters on this list. Next up on the list is Minato. He's not an essential, but if you have extra cash, definitely pick him up. He comes with everything he needs to express his character, and he has great shading. A few nitpicks I have for this figure are that he could have came with a one more face, like a screaming face or something, because he can't really pull off action poses because he's always happy. And this is the serious face he comes with, and it's emotionless. Another nitpick is that although this cape is shaded very well, it could have been removable, just like the Sage Mode Naruto one. And he could have came with like different arms for his outfit. 
Jonin outfit, the green jumpsuit thing. I forgot what it's called, but yeah, it could have definitely could have came with that. But I mean, I guess that's possibly asking too much. This figure on its own is pretty good, but just not as good as the next few figures on my list. I'm not disappointed, but not super impressed either with this figure. The face he comes with perfectly nails his on-screen appearance. Itachi's articulation is average for the Naruto line. His ab crunch is, can go the usual amount forward for Naruto figures, but his backwards crunch is different than the rest. And his arms are amazing, and his head can move freely. But the legs are pretty hindered by this skirt that is made of a harder plastic. A common complaint about the figure is that the robe is stuck in one pose. But in Tamashii's defense, what else could they do since they don't do cloth capes? A nitpick about this figure is that his feet are a little bit too high. Which is not a big deal, but I feel like he's wearing high heels compared to the rest of the figures. Next up on the list is Sasuke. Either one of the Sasukes is fine. I have the battle version, but from what I've heard, uh, the other version is equally as good. And they're both around the same price, so yeah. This is an essential figure. You should get either the, this one or the, or the other Sasuke. Sasuke and Itachi both do a good job at describing their on-screen appearances, but I feel like Sasuke's is just a little bit better. Sasuke has better accessories, but as you can see in this picture, Itachi has more faces that better express his character than Sasuke. The main reason I rank them over Itachi is just because he comes with more accessories. Itachi doesn't come with anything but his faces and his cloak, but Sasuke comes with a Chidori and his blade. His articulation is decent. What would prevent it from being a perfect 10 is this hard material that hinders his leg articulation. So he can't really pull off super dynamic poses. But overall, it works. He can do everything Sasuke does in the show. The figure is basically perfect. His accessories are acceptable and his articulation is pretty good. The pick is that he doesn't have a point of articulation right here, so the swivel is a little limited, but that it doesn't really affect the overall posability. Another nitpick is that he doesn't come with the leaf hurricane or whatever it's called, the attack, where he spins, and it would be nice to have like a nice swirling green piece. But I mean, what we got is definitely amazing. For all, this figure is not bad. He looks like Rock Lee, and his articulation is pretty good. Nothing to complain about. It's pretty much a fact that we know that this Naruto is the best out of the four that were released. I have had three of the four, and I gotta say, this is the best one. Out of all the Naruto's, this one comes with the most accessories and looks the best. There really isn't anything to complain about for this figure other than the horrible app crunch. Now this is a figure that is damn near perfect. The articulation is top tier. The accessories are all you need to complete Kakashi's character. There are only nitpicks about this figure and no super big issues. But nitpicks are still problems. For example, this, it doesn't really align unless you adjust it because of this little satch here. And this is a problem with a lot of Kakashis, and I've asked some of my friends about it, and yeah, this is a problem, but it's not that big of a deal. And this knee pad can sometimes pop out, same thing for this one, it gets annoying, but it, really not big deals. The major thing I have about this, about this figure is that this peg right here is so incredibly small and like weak, you look, look at it. By changing the heads, it's always super scary because it looks like it's about to snap at any time. But other than that, this figure is perfect. Next 
Next is Jiraiya. Now, he's not a very popular character, or as popular as the other ones, but this figure is a lot better than what's lower on this list. They really outdid themselves with Jiraiya. Like, why couldn't they put this much effort into making a Madara? This figure has good accessories and great articulation, and it looks like Jiraiya. They, they did amazing. See here, he has the same hair style as Madara, but this one is a lot more movable. As you can see, great posability on the back of his hair. The one bad thing about this figure is just this thing is not detachable. I don't know in the show if he ever takes it off, but yeah. See, you got the spring trap boots here. And what I mean by his his um, articulation is amazing, is that it's great. You see here his ab crunch. That that's way beyond average for this line and normal figures. And you see here he has a lot of clothing, but it's a nice soft bendy plastic that and it doesn't hinder any articulation. Just overall, this figure is amazing. They really didn't need to include all of these faces to express Jiraiya's happy self, but look, we got three of them. Just all three smiling faces do that, and it expresses him perfectly. And the one angry face he has, he genuinely looks angry. They just did a perfect job on this figure. And at our number one spot, we have OG Nart Boruto Uzumaki. And I'm not even joking. This figure, in my opinion, is definitely amazing statistic-wise and looks-wise. Just let me explain. I really thought I was going to hate this figure. Not in a million years would I think this is the best. But once I held it and played with it, it did. This figure is amazing. I hate Boruto. But... This figure, dude, it goes beyond expectations. His articulation, for one, is definitely amazing. His arms can move freely, amazing. And his legs can literally kick up to his head. What other figure in this line can do that? Standing straight up, kicking up to his head, that is amazing. And the backwards kick, also amazing. He has a thigh swivel. He has this thing. The thing Rock Lee didn't have. So, this is like the 3.0 leg design. Kakashi has the 2.0. This one is a 3.0 leg design. And his ab crunch... Well, it's a Naruto ab crunch, but beyond average for the Naruto line. Dude, what can you complain about for this figure other than the Boruto socks? I can't even complain about his accessories either. He comes with nine hands, including the ones he has on his, on the body right now. Three faces, four faces, including the one on his head, and a Rasengan, and two kunais. There's really nothing missing for this figure. He has an angry face, a smiling face, and a laughing face, which is great. And the Rasengan is also a brand new design, which I actually prefer over the old one, because this one... It's slightly movable. Here is definitely underrated because people don't like Boruto, but statistic wise and non biased, I definitely think this is the best figure out of the Naruto line. If you disagree with me, that's okay. Just tell me what you think in the comments. If you actually made it to the end of the video, <laughs> thank you. And make sure to like and leave a comment. And have a good day.